Hello everyone and welcome back to Lotus Premier Education. My name is Amanda and I want to be your college tutor. Today we're going to talk about how to complete the Yale Supplemental Essays. Now I personally love the Yale application because I think it gives students a lot of opportunity to talk about not only just themselves but some of the most interesting parts of themselves. I think the Yale questions do a really great job getting students to think holistically. And that is your first tip to the Yale supplements. Think holistically about who you are and make sure that you use the supplemental essays to show different pieces of yourself. Now we've said this a lot on Lotus Premier Education, but it's really important to remember when you are working on your supplemental essays, you want to think about the core values that each school really cares about and you want to think about your core values and try to align those. You want to show the school why you are a good fit for them, not just why they are a great fit for you. So those are some things you should think about before you even step foot into the Yale applications. What do you guys think are some things that Yale values? I'll give you a second to think. Are you ready? Yale values a lot of really important characteristics in their students. One thing is intellectual curiosity. Yale wants students who are willing to push the boundaries, to explore, to find intersections between different areas of interest. And these things should all really come through on your Yale application. So the Yale supplements starts with something that I like to call an extended why Yale question. It's actually two supplements split up. So the first one is they'll give you a drop down list of the fields of interest that you might want to study. And then they ask you, why do you want to pursue this interest? Let me read the question to you. So it says, students at Yale have time to explore their academic interests before committing to one or more major fields of study. Many students either modify their original academic direction or change their minds entirely. As of this moment, what academic areas seem to fit your interests or goals most comfortably? Please indicate up to three from the list provided. So basically, they first want you to just choose three areas, but then they say, tell us about a topic or idea that excites you and is related to one or more of the academic areas you selected above. Why are you drawn to it? So this is a great way to give students some autonomy over their why academic question. You can use this space to talk about a lot of the exciting things you want to pursue at Yale, but first you need to follow their instructions. What do they say in the question? They say, tell us about a topic or idea that excites you and how it's related to one of these areas. So the way you want to start this question is you want to find a unique topic or idea that relates to one of the areas above. So for example, if you are interested in studying math, tell me about a math concept that really drives you wild, that keeps you up at night. If you're interested in computer science, tell me about something you've learned how to code or something that you've really broken the boundaries of. And then you wanna relate that to what you're going to do at Yale. What professors are you gonna study? What classes are you gonna take? You really wanna make sure that you are relating this question to an idea that is groundbreaking and then taking that idea and that academic area and bringing it to what you will pursue at Yale. Remember, you always want to show the schools who you are going to be on campus. Now, the second question in this extended why Yale is what is it about Yale that has led you to apply? This is 125 words or fewer, which is very short. So the reason why I call this an extended why question is because in a why the school supplement, you always want to talk about the academics and the extracurriculars or the social. In this situation, the first question is all about the academics. So we get that out of the way. Now you want to talk about the personal or the social. The biggest mistake I see students make on this part of the application is they talk more about the, the academics right here when really you should be talking about what else you're going to do in New Haven and on Yale's campus and make this clear. Show them who you are going to be when you come here. Now, Yale has a really cool part of their application, which is 35 words or fewer for a subset of small questions. And these questions really want you to think outside the box. So you have, what inspires you? If you could teach any college course, write a book, or create an original piece of art of any kind, what would it be? 
Other than a family member, who is someone who has had a significant influence on you? What has been the impact of their influence? And what is something about you that is not included anywhere else in your application? These four questions must be answered in 35 words or fewer. That is a really, really, really small amount of room, but you can still make magic with it. Our biggest advice, don't underestimate this section of the supplements. You really wanna make sure you spend time and that you try multiple answers. You wanna think about the Yale supplements as kind of a little puzzle and all of the pieces should match up. So I would recommend that you start with a few different answers for each question and then find the ones that either most inspire you or most work well together. Now, lastly, it says, applications submitting the coalition application or the common application will respond to one of the following prompts in 400 words or fewer. So this is your last supplement for Yale and it's under 400 words. You can pick from one of these three. Reflect on a time you discussed an issue important to you with someone holding an opposing view. Why did you find this experience meaningful? Number two, reflect on your membership in a community to which you feel connected. Why is this community meaningful to you? You may define community however you like. And number three, reflect on an element of your personal experience that you feel will enrich your college. How has it shaped you? These three questions are all very, very personal. Some of them kind of include an area that could get a little bit controversial. So for example, when they talk about discussing an issue with someone and what happened, you wanna make sure that if you talk about anything sensitive, either for that, for your community or for that last third one, that you always bring it back to something positive. Remember, we don't want to be making admissions officers sit in something that is too heavy or too negative. You want to bring it back to what you learned or what you gained from a certain experience. Some of these questions actually overlap with the supplements of other schools. So you may have an essay you've already written that you want to include here, but just be careful. If you are using a supplement that you've written for another school, you need to make sure it matches the tone of the school you are using it for now. So I always recommend at least editing a sentence or two and really making sure it fits. For example, Michigan also has a community supplement, but Michigan's feel and Yale's feel are very different. So if you're trying to use that same 400 word response from whatever essay you wrote for Michigan, you just wanna make sure that you tailor it enough to what Yale is looking for and what you wanna to express to Yale in the context of your whole application. Your answer to any of these three questions should be very personal. Like I said, it should show self-awareness and self-reflection, and it should match with everything else so we create one holistic application for Yale University to consider you as a student. We hope this video was helpful. If you have any other questions about the Yale supplements, please comment down below. Subscribe to our channel for more application tips, and we hope to see you back here soon on Lotus Premier Education. Bye, guys.